Hello fishing friends, David Sheldon here. Right, I thought I've done my work, I thought I'm going to come down here and do some gaff fishing. Tell you the truth, I've never fished here before. It's low tide. Got to walk out there to the water, wade out. So I'm actually the guy who breeds the maggots, so I'm using my own product. I'd just like to say I hope everyone's happy with the maggots, what I breed, for you guys to use when you go fishing. Real quickly, all I'm using is a yeah, small reel, about a, well it's 1,000 size, spooled up with I think it's 10 pound braid, but it's very fine joined to some six pound nylon straight down to a float got a couple of them float stoppers each side it's only fixed at the bottom the float I actually like fixing floats at the bottom because it's more direct to the strike small number eights hook just a single hook and a modified burly spring a bit small you don't need a big burly spring got my burly in this container I'll wrap around me. This one's for my gents around me, my maggots. Okay, and got one lot of maggots here. What I've got tuna oil, curry powder, and garlic with them. Just doesn't hurt, it sometimes works a treat. Because my burley's also got curry powder and garlic tuna oil in it, breadcrumbs, so it doesn't hurt everything smelling like your burley. There's some gents in just the bran. And there's me, Sheldon's Bait. Thanks again if you use them and enjoy them. There you go. Right, all right. Less of the gossip. I'm going to put the head cam on when I start fishing because I can't hold it because I've got a hold my rod and yeah I can't stand it up out there so away we go oh that's heaps good I'm actually wading out on top of the ribbon weed There's no rocks underneath the ribbon weed because the ribbon weed needs sand Ooh, a bit crude <laughs> mate trouble is you don't know what's in the ribbon weed Things we do to try and catch a fish. A gar fish. When the tide starts coming in, I'll be out of here. Splash a bit of burly around. Get a bit of smell going. You do get gar fish in shallow water, it doesn't have to be deep. There are a few garfish around, so we might get lucky. Float sitting out there nice. I don't know whether you can see it or not, little orange tip. Waiting, waiting. Now it's very important to keep sprinkling a, just a little bit of burley. Just don't throw burley in and don't worry about it. You've got to keep sprinkling it in otherwise you'll do, if you just throw burley in once the fish will just go away with it so you need to keep the burley trail going you can see the slick off the oil in the water oh, there's some little fish down there tiny little guys oh, the burley's working we have a gar fish Ah, all works. There you go. Have you got a good look at him? He's legal. I don't have to measure him. Well done. That was on my flavoured maggots. Put some more burley in there. 
Look at that, my float is directly above my spring. Fishing about 30 centimeters deep. Let's get him out there again. there now. Yep, whoa. That's a nice fish. They fight. <laughs> a little marlin. Look at the size on that one. He's a cracker. Don't fall off. There you go. There you go. The plan is coming together. The burley's working. See what I mean? Keep the burley going not stop burlying and all I'm doing is throwing a little bit just like this quick gotta get back out there again oh here comes a gar fish he's onto it tuna yeah like tuna fishing well this is great The garfish have been having a good season this year. That's why I came here. But like I said, it's the first time I've been here. Oh, oh I missed one. Oh, there we go. We're on. <laughs> good fun. Good fun. So exciting. I love float fishing. Here we go. Oh, this one's a big one. Look at him fight. This might be a Tommy Ruff. Oh, it's like a, a leather jacket. No, it's a trumpeter. Oh, look at the size on that trumpeter. Trumpeter. Or another name we call them here in South Australia is a shitty. Go back, mate. <laughs> Caught one of them for a while, a long time either. This is alive with fish. Just start turning my handle a bit. Garfish will follow my maggots. Here we go. Gotcha. See? Slowly, slowly turn your reel. And they respond so good to a moving bait. This one's a big one. Wow. <laughs> South Australian marlin. Look at him, he's a thumper. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Biggest one today. <laughs> oh, what a cracker. Jeepers. It's great. Oh dear, what was that? Oh, there's a banjo ray down there. that splash oh god look at him he's coming right up to my feet hear me oh. go away <laughs> that's cool here we go lovely in a few fish now what I'm gonna do is Keep sprinkling my burley in the water. Try and bring these fish into the shore. It's a bit shallower. got the garfish swimming in about two inches well two inches <laughs> like two foot of water which is good so maybe we can keep catching they are hungry these guys
So that worked. Walking back in here into the shallower, just keep trickling my burly in the water. And yep, they followed. Look at the big Tommy Ruff jumping that hole. He's a nice Tommy. Wife will be happy with him. She likes Tommies. Look at that. Beautiful. This is good fishing guys, this is real good fishing. Another hard fighting Tommy Ruff. <laughs> Doing. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Gee, they are loving these flavoured maggots. I've seen fish swimming up to my bait, what don't want it. As soon as I put a fresh maggot with tuna oil, garlic and curry powder, he's on. Okay, there you go. A little bit of burly. Just flick him there. Watch how quick. There you go. Look at that instant so yeah guys flavor up your maggots Tommy rough this time little marlin they fight <laughs> fight I'm real big fish big Tommy Oh, did you see that? Mate! That was an eruption. That was a big snook chasing them garfish. I'm gonna have to come out here with a... with a little Uzeri hard-bodied lure. Well, there's a mullet. I'm gonna catch a mullet. Yeah. A mullet. <laughs> nice mullet and all. There you go. Lovely. Beautiful. It's a live fish out there. We've got one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five garfish, one mullet, two Tommy Ruffs. Well, I'm going to go back out and get my five more. May as well call it a day. Great afternoon's fishing. 30 garfish, two tommies and a mullet. One trumpeter, saw heaps of snook. It was alive. What a spot. That tide is moving in real quick. Look at it, coming in over the rocks there. Thanks again for watching.
See you later dudes. Before I go, I've got a heap of fishing line here. I'm going to pick it all up. Don't want any bird life or seagulls to get wrapped up in it. Look at all that. Heaps of it. Alright, I'll put this down and pick it all up. That's a lot of fishing line. It's best to pick it up if you see it. I'll never walk past fishing line and not pick it up. Someone obviously got snagged and snapped off. That happens. No. In the bucket was that. 